to go ahead and teach me some tips on how to get bigger arms. And I figure I'll go ahead and film this so that you guys can go ahead and benefit as well. So Ben, what do we have uh, today for some big arms? You know, you know me, man. I'm not about necessarily what you're doing. I'm all about how you do it. So I'm going to show you some real, real intricate details on how you can optimize your exercises and really learn how to contract your biceps more efficiently. And then we'll, we'll touch on some tricep stuff as well. Awesome. I'll show you as we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so Ben just instructed me to take 15 pound dumbbells, so I'm wondering what he's going to put me under now. Okay, so everybody does dumbbell curls for biceps, right? Mm -hmm. The specificity of the exercise is extremely important. It needs to be done properly. Most people don't realize the actual function of the bicep, or the primary function of the bicep, is not to do this, but it's to do this. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to really overemphasize supination. So what I want you to do is the biggest thing that people, the biggest mistake people make is they mistake shoulder rotation for supination. So supination is a, is a movement that really just happens with the wrist. So it's literally from a position of down to a position of palm facing up. So I really want you to do that. As we go, I'm going to have you start slightly in front. I just want you to start palms down and work on supination. Both at the same time. Sure. Probably so chose a lot of enough weight. So we want nothing to happen here. Everything's going to happen just at that wrist. There you go. See, so you, you get a little, you get a little internal rotation to the Okay, so one thing that most people are going to do is they're actually going to try to squeeze the dumbbell with the inside of their hand. I want you to do the opposite. I want you to try to squeeze your baby finger a little bit more and really turn that baby finger all the way up. I almost try to turn this dumbbell to me. Exactly. The further you can turn that, the better. So the goal is to get the bicep as short as possible. By doing that supination maximally, you get the maximum contraction of the bicep. I feel it. You probably do this naturally. Obviously, your biceps are really well developed. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, you know that. <laughs> Better than most humans. Um, so really force that supination. Thanks. Minimal movement at the shoulder. He does it perfectly. Oh, yeah, it burns. As you get tired, you're going to notice it becomes harder and harder to turn, right? Oh, yeah. That means the bicep's fatiguing. When the bicep gets tired, it's not going to want to go to that short position. It's a natural instinct of the human body to stay away from the place where it's weak. As you get tired, that's enough. you're going to notice that you're going to want to loosen up your grip a little bit. What's going to happen is instead of doing this, I'll grab that. So instead, instead of doing this, now you're going to start doing this, and you're going to squeeze it right. here, so it ends up being more of a hammer curl, Correct. less of supination. So we really, everything we do, we really want to focus on that supination, and it's all happening here at the forearm, nothing is happening up here at the shoulder. How and the supination will go ahead and ensure that you get the full bite of contraction. Exactly. 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 And as you get tired, most people are going to start to move their body around. You know, Sigo didn't change his body positioning. Um, you just kept that, that, that emphasis, that tension on the bicep where it wants to be. Yeah, and that's crucial. I think a lot of people just really focus on the weight. And I still hear that, Ben. You know, people are still saying, you gotta train heavy to go ahead and get big. Right. The reality is that this is just basically a means to an end. Exactly. You know? The more tension you can create in that muscle, the better. The body doesn't know how much weight exactly. It's the same like the people who say you need to lift free weights to get big. Free weight is the exa exact same thing as a cable or a machine. It's just creating tension. It doesn't matter what type of machine you use. So anybody who says you need to use free weights, you can slap them here by the way. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, so how does that feel as far as that weight? That great. Okay, you want to try a little heavier? Yep. Movement. If you go as 
trying to get what's called pronation of the forearm. So it's really palm facing down. The natural tendency is going to be to do this. So you don't want anything to happen here. You notice the internal rotation of my shoulder. We want to avoid that. It's going to cause shoulder injury. So we want to let you come down, pronate, back up, pronate, back up. At the bottom, I contract my triceps a little bit to know that my bicep is fully lengthened. And then initiate with the bicep and supinate. Awesome. That feels really good. Good. So that's the biggest thing I think most people lack is they don't know how to supinate or they don't know the idea. Well, even if you're doing a bicep curl with a barbell, same idea. You want to think about really trying to hold turn this in this position. Right. Not let the barbell sit here and curl this way. Right. Right. Which is what most people do. And I'm still good with it up until very recently. We'll 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 do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. So, um, yeah, this is something if you like this video, feel free to click on the like button below and also feel free to share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus. And also don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet and visit my website at www.hugorivera.net where you will find tons of free information on training, nutrition and supplementation. And you can also sign up to my free newsletter which will be sent out a minimum of two times a week with tons of free training tips and you also get a free ebook on how to gain muscle while you're getting your abs at the same time. Hope to see you soon. Until then, take care and train hard.